ProSight, the world's leading manufacturer of modular cove backgrounds for video production, broadcasting, and still photography. ProSight, we make you look good. Welcome to the studio of CVM Productions, one of the newest installation sites for the ProSyc System 3EZ, the world's most advanced and user-friendly cyclorama system. With the ProSyc System 3EZ, CVM Productions will now be able to offer the creative capabilities of a virtual reality set to its clients in North Central Indiana. Installation is easy with the System 3EZ. The System 3 Easy modules arrive from ProSyc in new custom-made crates. Be sure to inspect the crates for damage before signing the receipt accepting shipment. For damage claims to be honored, damages must be noted on the bill of lading and the delivery person or the carrier's representative must be present when the crate is opened. If the damage is internal, the crate must be kept so it can be inspected. The System 3EZ modules are manufactured of high-impact ABS plastic and are extremely durable, yet lightweight, only 24 pounds each. Cove modules are 4 feet wide and have a 3 foot 6 inch radius, while the corner modules are 90 degrees. For your convenience, all modules will arrive trimmed and drilled for quick assembly. Before you begin, make sure you have all the pieces necessary for installation, including tools and hardware. There are five simple construction steps for installing the ProSyc 3 Easy system. Sanding the modules, wall preparation, assembling and attaching the modules, finishing the joints, and priming and painting the wall. Sand the entire surface of the ProSyc modules to prepare them for painting and sand or grind the joint tapered area so the joint compound will bond to the modules. This can be done before assembly so dust is kept to a minimum. You need a solid surface to attach the ProSyc and there are two ways to achieve this. Either you can install furring strips to the existing wall and then add sheetrock above it. Or the method we'll be using here is removing some of the sheetrock and replacing it with plywood. Here is how we will measure the areas to be removed. First slide the bottom corner section into the corner. Center it. Use a pencil and mark the two vertical edges of the corner module. From the lines marking the vertical edges, locate the closest stud inside and outside each line and mark the center. Measure where the top of the vertical modules will be and find the corresponding studs and drive nails in the center of the studs. Using a chalk line, mark where the vertical cuts will be made. Next, we will measure the horizontal strips of sheetrock to be removed. These will be at the top of the floor cove modules. Measure up from the floor 35 and a half inches at either end and then at least four inches above the first mark. Terminate each strip into the stud equal to or longer than the cove unit. Using a knife or circular saw, cut out the horizontal sections being careful not to cut into the studs. Then cut the sheetrock 35 and a half inches above the floor and up to the height of the top vertical module. After removing the sheetrock, replace it with plywood or furring strips the same thickness as the sheetrock that was removed. Now you have a solid surface to which you can attach the ProSyc modules. Next, we mark the locations where modules will attach to the furring strips. The horizontal modules will be approximately 37 and a half inches above the floor. That's where the furring strips are marked with a chalk line. In the corner, we will have two vertical modules and a corner to install. We mark the furring strips showing the final location of the vertical edges of these modules. 
The top of the corner cove unit is 41 and a half inches from the floor. We mark this with a level and then verify it with the corner unit. Then we measure the distance between the ceiling and the corner unit. In this case, we must modify one of the upper vertical modules to fit the available space. Connect the two vertical modules using quarter inch bolts, nuts, and a washer on both sides of the flange. Before final tightening, use a straight edge to make sure the modules are flush on the face. Attach the vertical modules to the wall. As this is being done, the horizontal modules can be assembled. Again, before final tightening, make sure these modules are flush on the face. Once the modules are assembled, look at the flanges on the back side to see if there are raised surfaces needing to be sanded so the edges of the modules will lay flush against the walls and floor. Attach the corner cove unit to the vertical modules. Then push each horizontal unit into place. Shift each one back and forth until edges are flush to the corner unit, wall and floor. Attach the sides of the corner unit to the horizontal rows. Begin at the corner. Start the sheetrock screws. Add multi-purpose construction mastic. Then finish tightening the screws. Make sure the psych is as parallel as possible to the horizontal line. Floor and wall irregularities may cause variances. Now we can fasten the bottom of the psych to the floor. Using both hands, grab the psych, pull it forward, and allow it to fall gently into place. Using a roto hammer with a masonry bit, begin in the corner and drill through the holes into the floor. Blow out each hole with compressed or canned air. Anchor the corner with the mastic and concrete screws. To firmly attach the bottom of the psych, we will use the mastic and concrete screws plus foam or dry mortar mix for stability. For ease of application when using mortar mix, elevate the edge and add the dry mortar behind the screw holes. We're using about six cups per module. Blow out each hole with compressed or canned air. Add mastic in front of the holes. Screw down the modules. Behind the psych, pack the mortar and mist the surface, so when it dries, a crust forms to hold the mortar in place. When using foam, the modules will already be screwed down and the foam will be added from beneath the psych. Do not add too much, as the psych will bulge. If it happens, remove the foam immediately. At this point, while the modules have been sanded, the floor in front of the psych must be sanded for good adhesion. Clean all surfaces. Then apply taping. Next comes 90-minute mud. If possible, use a plaster bonding agent to provide even better adhesion. But stay away from the easy sand type mud as it has little tacking quality and will crack. To complete the seamless transition, draw or strike a parallel line five inches in front of the front and top edges of the coves. Use a wide sheetrock knife applying 90 minute mud by keeping the outside edge of the knife on top of the line and the other end of the knife on the psych using topping mud for the final coat. Allow plenty of time for the mud to completely dry before applying subsequent coats. Use a standard topping mud for the final coat and be sure to blend the surface between the sheetrock and cove modules, the modules, and the coves and floor. Sand the joint tapered area to prepare it for painting. Wipe the entire psych, including sheetrock, with a clean, damp cloth. Apply two heavy coats of high-quality stain-blocking primer, either oil or water base. It should be a flat paint, not glossy. 
If you use a roller, use a three inch roller in the corner area to help prevent lines and streaks caused by larger rollers. Once you are satisfied, there are no shadows appearing through the paint at the joints. Apply the final coats of the color you have chosen. Remember, wearing surgical booties and putting plastic on the floor during rehearsal or studio prep will prolong the time between new coats of paint. As you can see, the ProPsych System 3EZ lives up to its name. It's easy to install, yet provides a durable professional backdrop for any highly creative production. It's the simple solution to creating infinity. System 3EZ by ProPsych. ProPsych, we make you look good.